have you in the studios. How are you doing? Oh very well. So Trudy Arts. Yes. That means your name is Trudy. I'm Gertrude. Gertrude? Yes. Oh, so you decided to just take the get out and make it Trudy. <laughs> Thank you for having me once again. Yeah. So my name is Gertrude Akusia Jamfua Awumi. But then Trudy has grown as a household name. Most of my friends and family mm. call me Trudy. Most okay. people actually know me as Trudy. Okay. So when I started the brand, I was looking at my target audience, who are the Westerners, more of the Westerners, mm -hmm. so I decided to use a name that they can easily catch on. And you know, Gertrude is a German name. Ah. So then I took Trudy, that was a popular name by my friends and family, as a pet name from Gertrude. I see. Yes. Was that when you had started making bags already, or when did bag making come so to bag you? making came to me in my final year at the university, in Takradi Technical University. Okay. I'm a certified textile artist. Oh, nice. From Takradi Technical okay. University. Okay. Yes. So in my final year, we went for a trip as Textiles Ghana Limited, now known as GTP. And then that's when I realized that the textile industry was really choked. And then it was likely that I would be part of the thousands of textile students who would be done and be home jobless mm -hmm. for a long period. So I took it upon myself to start doing something that can help me become economically independent and also get other people on board. And so um, another event led to me going to the art center for an internship because mm -hmm. in arts based on the acad academic curriculum in Ghana, you have to pursue internships for a while based in school. An art center, you can do internship there? Yes, so there is a man, Mr. Kwao, okay. shout out to him. He's so good with batik tie dye. Ah. So I went there for a period of um, weeks uh -huh. for my internship. And then I saw these creative art center guys making bags of all kinds with prints, with leather, very interesting items. And then I walked to one. I was fascinated by how they were creating these pieces. But then I felt there were certain qualities missing in the things they were producing. So mm -hmm. I went back to school after the internship. And I decided, no, Gertrude, you're a textile artist. Yeah. That's what you've been studying all, all your life. I love arts. It's part of me. And so I decided to add my qualities, my personal qualities, to making bags. Back. When you say... When you say personal qualities, what are these qualities? So, um, I love details. Okay. I'm a perfectionist. Most people who work with me will, will tell you that. Ah. And so I want to produce products that when I walk into a shop myself, I'll be proud and happy to buy with my money. That means it, it probably takes a year to complete one bag because if you're a perfectionist, you don't want to make any mistakes at all. No, it's, it's not really about not making mistakes. Mistakes are part of the journey. But then once, for me making sure that I'm close to perfect, if not the, pe the word perfect itself. Because the arts industry is such a way that you have to find your niche. Yeah. And in doing that, you should be creative about it. Yeah. How then do you find your niche and be creative? You need to get close to perfection, yeah. if not the word itself, perfect. So, so tell me a bit about these bags, because these are your creations, right? Exactly. So you do all kinds of bags? Yes, so I make very high quality handmade bags of all kinds okay made from scratch right here in Ghana ah. and so <laughs> okay yes and so for this I call it the Elida cross body bag it's one of my best sellers yet ah. so this is a batik print okay made here in Ghana this leather was sourced in Kantamantu Everything oh. else you see here is sourced from Makola and Kantama. Ben Dan Boutique. I'm telling you. No, the oh. leather. Okay, yes, okay, okay. So, I get it, but I'm yes. right. I mean, what you think about cans is Ben Dan, oh. Yes. Ah. <laughs> this one, yeah, you have to get up to, to buy it, so you're not really bending down to buy that. Well, <laughs> was it easy sourcing these materials in the beginning? So because I'm an artist, back in school, you have to buy um, big tanks to my parents, Reverend Dr. and Mrs. Awumi. They always make sure that I had practical stuff for mm -hmm. my project work. And so we used to come to Makola. We lived in the Volta region. My okay. dad would drive all the way to Accra for me to get the best materials for school. And so because over the years, I studied um, textiles and leatherworks in Infantiman Girls. Ah. Yeah, so hey, hey any? Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> oh, wow. Yes. I see. Yes, so it's, it's been a journey for me. And so I get to know where to get what at a point in time because I studied art. But what inspires your designs? So one is the environment. When I talk about the environment, both the natural and then the artificial environment, 
So creativity can be defined as something you are creating on your own from mm -hmm. scratch or you're improving on an existing design. Okay. So when you look at the trees, the plants, sometimes even a pebble could inspire me. The shape of a pebble. So you, you can see this and be inspired. I'm telling you. So let's say you see something like this. What will it inspire you to do? I could think of creating a clutch that should have this shape, a clutch oh, press. Oh, that's what yes. you mean. Yes. So that would be an interesting shape, exactly. though. Exactly. And back in school in Takradi, we were taught to create shapes from some of these things. OK. Yes, you could even draw tree backs to get textures. And so that's what we did back in, back in the day. Yes. So it, it has actually helped my growth. Process. But beyond the environment, natural, artificial, are there other back brands that you were looking up to that inspired your journey? Yes, yes. Um, when I started my journey, I looked up to M. Sims Ghana. Oh, yes. Apparently, I'm now a competitor to her. <laughs> Tell me about it. Yes. Okay. So I, I looked up to her, and I'm competing with her in the same industry. And for me, that's, that's a proud moment. I look up to... I look up to brands like Femi uh, handbags in Nigeria, okay. Muji Lagos in Nigeria as well. And I try to associate myself with local brands because if a local person has been able to break the barrier and expand and grow and explore, I can do like You that. definitely can do it. But there's this concern, and I would want to ask you, if you saw this bag, let's say the, the one with the red, um, you know, and you saw maybe a Gucci, which one? Be honest. Can we pass the microphone on to whoever is willing to speak? Is the microphone around? Yeah, it's around. Okay. If you saw this bag and Gucci, which one would you choose and why? For me personally, yes. I'll go for Gucci because... You'll go for Gucci? Yes. Because why Gucci? Not like I don't like this bag. I'm in a competition that my friends are getting quality brands, brands that have been in the country and beyond internationally. Yeah. And so immediately I see Gucci... Whether the bag is nice or not, the brand alone will let me go for it. So it's the brand? Yes. And so from, uh, okay, let me say that I'll start purchasing this bag when I see it the second time. Okay. When I see it the second time, I'll go for it because uh -huh. I've seen it twice or I've seen someone using similar bag. Mm -hmm. But Gucci has been a brand that has been in the world for some time. Okay. And so buying that... I'm also lifting my social status. So it's about social status <laughs> it's and about also about the quality. Yes, Do you hear quality. this a lot? Yes, I get this a lot. Uh -huh. And then one interesting thing is that people who usually have this level of thoughts, once they purchase my product, after a while they come back, Trudy, you didn't tell me your bags were made of such great quality. Even whilst I sat here waiting to come on, one of your crew members held my product and mentioned, this is super. Okay. Quality. Yes. Okay. I, I want to hold it too. Yes. Pass me one. Let me see. Yes. Okay. Oh, oh, wow. Yes. And he's never met me. I met him right here. Wow. Yes. And I'm not even exaggerating. Does anybody want to feel? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to pass it on to you guys so you can tell me what you think okay. about Trudy's bag. Which one? Yeah, maybe we can yeah. just pass this on a couple one. of them. <laughs> oh, you have to return it. <laughs> Let me give one to this side and one to this side. Feel it, and then I'll need one of you to give me feedback on it. Tell me what you think. I like the crossbody bag. Yes. I, there's something about it. It just feels really good. Yeah. You see, they are nodding. Is it not expensive getting the best quality raw materials for your brand? Yes. Do you is. make the returns on it as well? Yes. I would say it's, it's been um, a tough journey. Even though acquiring these very high-end quality materials for production has been over the roof, but because that is my brand's identity, to always pursue quality at mm. all costs. Mm. And in pursuing quality, I want to also make sure that my consumers are comfortable with whatever they have. I see. Yes. Have you felt the bag, everybody? Who wants to speak on the quality? Okay, the gentleman here. Okay, there's a man here. Let's give him first and then, okay. Hi. Yeah, I think, hi, I'm, uh, please, my name is Manuel Amisi. Okay. Uh, the, the brand is solid. That's uh. what I can see. When you say solid, solid, based on what? What's your reason for saying it's solid? Oh, this is my first time holding it, but I can see some. It, it's quality. It's quality. It's so you would quality. buy? Yeah, when I go to the market, I would. You <laughs> definitely buy. Okay. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not asking if you buy right now. Relax. <laughs> <laughs> Relax. Okay, he wants to speak as well. What do you think? Okay, I'm, I'm enthused actually 
by the beauty of the bag. Mm. Uh, you know, I like African print. Mm. So anytime I see African print being used for something, it, it's really beautiful. And then about the, te the texture, it doesn't, it feels so good that you wouldn't, it wouldn't tear that early. Yeah, mm. it wouldn't tear that early. It's yeah. really quality. It yeah, it's there. great, yeah. Nice. I agree 100%. And I'll definitely get it. But what are your future prospects? Of course, Trudy Bags, Trudy Art, what is the next step for you? So the next step for me, I, I love education. And so I love to pass on knowledge wherever I find myself. So one of my key things for the future is to establish a firm or an organization or even an, a big industry mm -hmm. that can take as much as this senior high school or GHS leavers to train them in the art of bag making. Okay. Sex thousand and entrepreneurship. I see. Well, I'm looking forward to that and I wish you the very best. Thank you. I love your bags. Thank I think they're, so they're solid. How do we reach you? So Trudy underscore arts underscore okay. craft. That's on Instagram. I see. Yes. Put your hands together for our guest. <laughs> Trudy Art. And when we get back, yeah. hey, yeah. Nanado, ni, I don't even know, ni nana, ni sister, ni cousin. I don't even know how to explain that relationship. But it looks like a very yeah. solid bond. And we're going to be talking to her. She has a brand new one out. It's a remix for my body. I'm sure you know who I'm talking about. We'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. <laughs>